Hi everybody, Marco Carbajo here from businesscreditbuilders.org. Today's video, we're gonna talk about factoring and fuel cards for trucking. If you're in the trucking industry, we're gonna share with you three main things today in this video. Number one, we're gonna share with you how you can dramatically improve your cash flow. Number two, we're gonna share with you how to save a great deal of money on your fuel costs for your trucking. Number three, we're gonna share with you how to build business credit at the same time. So let's get started with this video. Number one is factoring and trucking. How does it actually work? Well, with your load invoice, you're basically selling your invoice to a company that specializes in collecting and processing, and you're getting paid right up front. You get paid really fast. So rather than having to wait 40 to 90 days, which you may be already aware of, that when you have a load invoice, you have to wait for the shipper or the broker to pay you in that period of time. You need funds right now. So how do you have to, you don't wanna to have to wait 40, 90 days to get paid on your invoice. So why not get paid up to 90, even 100% of your funds right away on that invoice? What they do is they advance you that money on the invoice, usually up to 80, 90% or more, and then they take a small percentage of the fee for their service to do that, and they collect on the invoice. All right, so that's the invoice is off your hands. Being in the truck industry, you don't want to be in the business of having to collect and chase uh, invoices and making sure you're getting paid. There's administrative burden there, so that's how it takes that workload off of you. That's kind of a very general um, explanation of factoring and trucking. It's very, very popular. It's been done for a long time. So the factory company actually processes the invoice and collects from the brokerage or the shipping company. They do the work, okay, and you get paid right away. So the benefits to you as a trucker is your cash flow. So having to wait, rather than waiting 40 to 90 days to get paid on your invoice, you're getting paid literally within 24 hours of that same day. So it's really, really fast you get paid, okay? The next thing is this speeds up invoicing for you. So when you're, you have an invoice, you get paid right away, you gain access to capital, you don't have to worry about floating your money, you may be using credit cards right now or dipping into your cash until you get paid on these invoices. Well, why not get paid right away so you don't have to use your credit or you don't have to use your own funds while you're waiting to get paid. Uh, the next thing is this helps you manage your daily operations. It reduces any administrative burden. If you have uh, your own administrative st staff that's trying to collect on invoices, this eliminates that burden for you. Uh, that way you can focus on what you're doing best, which is your trucking, okay? Uh, now, with factoring, you get funded in 24 to 48 hours, so you get paid right away on that invoice. You get funding on open invoices the same day. Uh, with RTS, we'll explain a little bit about that. They have a mobile app, so all this can be done via your cell phone, so make it even easier. Because obviously you're on the road all the time, so if you could do it on your mobile device, submit invoices, get paid right away, makes it that much easier for you. There's co competitive advance rates, uh, no hidden fees, and you get discounts for US military veterans, which is huge. So if you go to truckingcard.com, That'll take you right to the RTS where you can submit your information and get contacted right away. But don't go there yet because we have a lot to explain to you today. That's truckingcard.com. So you're going to hear this in the factoring industry is recourse versus non-recourse. And this is really important that you understand the terms of what that actually means when it comes to factoring. Um, now, in the trucking industry, you're probably asking, what happens when a customer doesn't pay a load invoice that I gave to the, my, the factoring company? Okay, so you, you gave them an invoice, you got paid right away, but what if that customer doesn't pay? Well, factoring companies have uh, two different options. They have recourse and non-recourse. You'll he hear a lot of factoring companies talk about non-recourse. Okay, recourse means you are responsible for non-payment. So if the shipping company or the broker does not pay on that invoice, uh, then you are ultimately responsible to, to pay that invoice because the factoring company advanced those funds to you, right? Non-recourse means the factoring company assumes most of the risk for non-payment. Okay, so that means non-recourse. Now, the important thing to realize is you, as a trucker, may, sit, may be thinking non-recourse is the way to go. I don't want to have to worry about it. If they don't pay, then I'm not responsible, etc. There's no such thing as true non-recourse. So that's an industry, that's a term that's used in the in factoring industry, but there's really no such thing as true non-recourse. So let me kind of break that down for you so you realize uh, when you hear that term, don't get so hung up on it, okay? 
One truck at a 3% factoring rate, which is kind of an average rate, doing about 10,000 a month in volume. Uh, you're looking about the, the, the profit that the factoring company is gonna make is about $3,600 on that load, okay, a year. Okay, so if you're doing that type of volume every single month for an entire year, the factoring company that's been advancing you your fees, they make about 3,600 profit in the entire year. So there's no factoring company that, that's gonna take a loss on a load given the amount, annual profit is only $3,600 a year. So when you hear non-recourse, you have to realize there's a lot of stipulations to non-recourse, okay? So I kind of put this real quick chart to make it as simple as possible and break it down to you. It's all in the fine print, okay? So just because they say they're non-recourse doesn't actually mean they're truly non-recourse. There's all these different things in fine print. So let me kind of just break it down to you really easy. Recourse means that it's, you're gonna get the best factoring rate when you're dealing with a recourse factoring company. Um, they buy back the invoice that the factoring company is unable to collect, then um, payment after 90 days, then, then you're ultimately responsible, okay? But a non-recourse, remember, you might hear that, but it doesn't protect your company from all the risk, okay? And there's a lot of things we're gonna share with you in this video that'll help you realize that the type of brokers or shippers that you deal with that will minimize risk even more with some of the things that RTS does. But only if the customer or debtor declares bankruptcy or goes out of business do they, they uh, that, does that apply to non-recourse? That's one of the stipulations, okay? So if they're still in business and they don't pay, <laughs> the risk falls back on you, okay? So only if that, that debtor, the company, doesn't pay and they've gone bankrupt or they're out of business, then you're not responsible for that invoice that does, that does if they don't pay. Another thing is it limits only, only to your customers with good credit ratings, okay? That's another stipulation that a lot of factoring companies put in black and white when they say non-recourse and they have all these lists of things that, that apply to non-recourse, okay? So just read the fine print. You can kind of go through the slide a little uh, longer if you want, but remember there's gonna be a higher factoring rate with non-recourse. They're gonna, you're gonna be paying more money because there's non-recourse. And even though they say this, there's some company, factory companies out there that they say they're non-recourse and let's say a, a, a company doesn't pay, they put that on the book. So when you attempt to switch factoring companies or you want to cancel your contract with that factoring company, then they try to collect. Then they say, well, you know, this invoice that you just sent us, you, you still do for this one invoice that defaulted many, many uh, months or years ago. Okay, that's a, another thing they do is they withhold. Okay, so I uh, just want to make sure that you really realize the difference between recourse and non-recourse. There's no such thing as a true non-recourse, okay? So <clears throat> another thing, if you're looking to get maybe funding because <clears throat> you're tired of waiting to get paid on your invoices, this is just kind of a quick little example of factoring versus a traditional bank loan. You'll see this is really simple. With factoring, you don't, you're not getting into debt. You're basically getting paid on your invoices right away. With a loan, of course, you're getting interest. You're paying uh, interest over time. Uh, your funding potential with factories is unlim unlimited because you're basically getting paid for your invoices. This is money that's due to you, okay? With funding, your potential is capped with a traditional bank loan. Approval is three to five days. Uh, if you have a shipper or a broker that you want to get approved to do factoring with, uh, then that takes three to five days. After that, then all your invoices get, get uh, pretty much funded right away uh, with that particular uh, shipper or broker. Funding potential is capped. Uh, approval could take months with a traditional bank loan. Uh, now, with factoring, your approval is based on the credit scores of the company's uh, customers, the brokers, not you as a trucker. Uh, approval is based with a traditional bank loan. It's based on your company. It's based on you. So that's the difference between factoring and traditional bank loan. Startups, startups are eligible for factoring where with a, a traditional bank loan, most banks, traditional banks, want you to be two years or more in business. There's a lot of documentation involved, etc. So that's just kind of a real quick rundown between factoring and a traditional bank loan. Now, I want to talk about RTS. This, this particular company is one of the largest factoring companies in America. Okay, They have been in business since 1995. They fund invoices 24 hours or less. I'm going to kind of give you some breakdown as to why this company is so such a great company to do factoring with, but I'm also going to get into your fuel cards here in a second as well, because they also offer fuel cards. So they have highly competitive rates in all invoices. You get access to their private load board. 
Uh, they have 10,000 loads a daily that you can look at. Free collections and credit analysis. Uh, fuel car with credit lines and online account access and easy uploading via RTS Pro. Uh, they offer both recourse and non-recourse factoring. So if you're really, really big and you're hooked up on non-recourse, they do offer that. And they also offer recourse. Okay, so you go to truckingcar.com. Uh, this is just kind of a quick little overview on the services they offer as a total with this company. Um, I'm not going to go into a little, every little bullet point here. You can freeze this uh, part presentation at this time if you want. Or just go to truckingcard.com, uh, fill out your information there, and they'll get in contact with you. Uh, this is kind of a real quick rundown uh, that they have on how factoring works. Uh, you have basically have your company is delivering your goods to the customer. <clears throat> and what happens is, is your company then sends the invoice to RTS. This is if R RTS is your factoring company. Okay, RTS at that point will then send the invoice to your customer. Okay, and then RTS advances you up to 180 to 100% of your invoice right away. So you get funded right away from your invoice. Okay, and then what happens is your customer then will pay that invoice to RTS because you're now out of the equation as far as collecting on that invoice invoice because RTS took over that invoice for you. RTS will then pay you any reserve balance you have minus their their fee, which is a very minimal fee. So that's kind of a real quick breakdown of how the process is going to work with factoring. Um, this is also nice uh, benefits when you uh, use RTS. They also include this um, RTS Pro Credit, which is a mobile and web free service that's offered to you that allows you to see uh, credit information over 70,000 now it's over 85,000 brokers and shippers because as a trucking company you want to make sure you're doing business with companies that are going to pay you you want to make sure their credit ratings are good that they're going to pay on their on the loads that you do they pay their invoices on time so you want to make sure you deal with them with a b c or c credit ratings with rts so you have that all included when you do business with rts which is huge um, now what I want to do is break down their fuel card. Now this is really, really huge too because you know, being in the trucking industry, fuel is a big cost. Obviously, uh, this example we're going to share with you uh, the the savings um, of using one truck. You may have a fleet of trucks, but let's just give it, make this really simple. We're going to break this down to one truck that's doing 1,500 gallons a month, uh, and the comparison here is between using a credit card for your fuel costs versus rts fleet one card okay because a credit card you may as a trucker be saying well i get three percent cash back for my credit card i just throw all my fuel on there i get three percent back i'm doing great we do it with all of our trucks well i'm going to share with you how you're leaving money on the table you're actually can save a lot more money using rts fleet one card so in this example average diesel right now uh as the, this recording is about four dollars and seven cents and this is based on one truck 1,500 gallons a month, you're going to be spending about $6,105 on your credit card. And this is average cash back rewards on a credit card is 3%. Okay, so let's say you're using a 3% cash back rewards credit card. You're putting $6,100.05 on fuel. At the end of the month, you're getting 3% cash back, which is $183.15. That's 3% of 6105 right? So technically, you're spending about $59.21.85. That's your spending in fuel with your credit card. Now, if you move that volume over to you RTS Fleet One card, same thing, 1,500 gallons, $4.07 per gallon on diesel. Your savings is about 36 cents a gallon with the RTS Fleet One card. So that same 1,500 gallons, you are now saving $540 a month. And you're only spending $55.65 a month. Okay, so you'll see the difference. You can spend $59.21.85 with a credit card, or you can spend $55.65 using the RTS Fleet One card. You see the big, a big difference in savings here. Okay, just with one truck. So one truck saves you $357 more a month with that truck using the Fleet One card compared to using a credit card with 3% cashback rewards. That's $4,284 a year. Okay, so just imagine though, if you had five trucks that were you were previously using a 3% cashback credit card for your fuel, and you switch it over to RDS Fleet One, 
you're now saving $21,000 a year. You're not doing anything different. All you're doing is instead of using a 3% cashback credit card, you're using your RTS Fleet One card for fuel. That's huge. So think about that. That's available to you right now. Okay, you just go to truckingcard.com. Uh, and that's the RTS uh, fuel card. That's the savings that you're leaving on the table if you're not using it already, okay? And it reports to Dun & Bradstreet, so this helps you build your business credit. And remember, I talked about those three things. I talked about uh, improving your cash flow, which was factoring. Number two, I talked about saving on fuel, which we're talking about right now. And then I also talked about building business credit. Both of their fuel cards, this is their first one, the Fleet One fuel card, uh, will report to Dun & Bradstreet. You can get up to a $3,200 line of credit per truck per week on this fuel card. It's a universal card, so you can use it at any fuel station. You're not limited. You get extra discounts at over 2,500 stations, 7-Eleven, Circle K, Casey's, etc. You can save 40 to 50 cents per gallon. Remember, on the example, we said 36 cents. So we're being, you know, that's where we're just giving you a small average, but it's actually more than that. Okay, so that example was a was think about those numbers could be even higher. Okay, uh, now this pulls experience commercial when it comes to uh, approval, uh, or if you don't have a good experience commercial report for your business, uh, then they require at least a 700 personal credit scores required. Uh, they do report to Dun and Bradstreet every month, so they'll help you build business credit. So you go to truckingcard.com. You fill out that simple form there, uh, and you'll see you can you could select factoring, you could select the fuel card as well, and they'll uh, you could apply for both of them. Okay. Um, now, if you don't uh, approve for the uh, Fleet One card, they also have another uh, fuel card, which is a Pilot Flying J fuel card from Titan. This has a $2,500 line of credit per truck per week. No credit checks, no fees. Uh, there's 750 locations you can use this. Uh, and they also have all these other benefits there. This also reports to Dun & Bradshaw. So this is another fuel card that they offer at RTS uh, if you don't uh, get approved for the Fleet One card. And there's also savings here as well. Um, now, what's really exciting though is if you can bundle the services. So that's where it's really nice with RTS is you can actually have your fuel card and your factoring all together. So you get even more savings uh, when you do that. Uh, you get same day funding, but you get an actual better factoring rate if you also do your fuel through them as well, not just your factoring. Uh, you get credit data, like I told you about the, uh, the mobile app, and you have a load management tool, you have additional savings for US military veterans. So that's uh, their bundled service is definitely a way to go if, if, if you're trucking uh, in the trucking industry and you're looking to maximize your opportunity for fuel, you maximize your, your, your ability to uh, raise capital and get paid quicker and at the same time build business credit, then definitely take advantage of their bundled service. So um, this is a, a video that for, for the trucking industry that I wanna put out to, to make you aware of what's available to you from this company called RTS. So again, just make sure you check out truckingcard.com. Uh, if you're in the trucking industry, thank you for the work that you do. And uh, if you found value in this video, give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe button. That way you're always notified of every time we put out a video, any type of new type of funding products to help you build business credit, as well as get access to the capital you need to grow your business. So with that, make it a great day and we'll talk to you real soon.